<laughs> Good. It'd be like a walk in the park for him, it seemed. All right, five to four. That was a very, very big round. Like we said, couldn't they, can they transition that 5v4 that they were able to start Stop off with? And the answer was yes for Furia. So things working out well in that sense. As we come into round 10, it is a bit of a slower mid-focus round again. But this this Kesnet nags duo continues to stay on the side yeah. to see if they can open up something off and off. That was real close. <laughs> There's definitely a lot going on here on the A ramp. Slow default working towards mm -hmm. mid as well for crew, usually finishing towards the vents, working out towards the A site. But an early flash did come out here from Manzine. It spotted some players, so you see the early rotate back towards the A site. Where are we moving in? And unfortunately, another off shot that misses, and it's punished by Kesnit. Fury at a disadvantage, forced to fall back into the site, and that's going to be MW0 just at the bottom of Elbow. We still haven't committed yet for crew inside the A site, though, so an advantage for the rotate to move forward. So this is a uh, cruise pistol round reversed where mid comes through vent instead of the A heavens. And it seems to be working beautifully, but MW Zera with a third! What? Fighting back here with three HP. Two left. more onto the attack as Nax gets One punished and lower. Down to almost nothing. MW Zera, look at that final kill. The big oh. and gets the ace here for Funia. The sliver shot to pick up the ace. MW Zera snuffing out crew on that round. Incredible stuff so far from both teams being able to flip the switch in these rounds and really figure out the call that their opponent is making. This one, it's just MW Zera. <laughs> Everybody get in the backpack for this round. This last shot, though, the beautiful sliver, and he gets that frag. Now that's ice cold. That's ice cold. 